earlier today I sh created two videos that kind of showcase the two new Addo plugins that we installed for Moodle. Uh, the first one was drag and drop of files. So not only can you drag and drop images into the Addo editor, you can now drag and drop files. The second one that I installed was the drag and drop import of Word documents. So what does that do and, and how is that powerful for teachers? Well, in this example, let's say um, I was going to introduce uh, certain concepts about uh, our Earth, such as magnetism, the revolution, maybe uh, water sources, those kinds of things. How did the planet form? Those kinds of things. And um, instead of just handing, dragging and dropping these uh, documents into my Moodle course, I might want to put them into a lesson. It's a little more engaging. You can paste the information. Um, you can make sure that they looked at it. You can put little questions to make sure that they're paying attention while they're going through it. So lots more power. But my information is over here in the Word document. So what am I going to do? I'm going to add a lesson and we'll just call it Earth. <clears throat> and I'm going to save and display. And it's, what do we want to do? Well, I want to add my content in here so that the kids can, can see it and interact with it. I'm going to add my first page. We'll call this Magnetism. And now here's where typically you'd have to type in your information. If you had an image, you would need to upload it, all that. Whew, that sounds like a lot of work, and I'm quite lazy. So here's what I'm going to do. With these two new plugins, I'm just going to take my Word document and drop it in here. And this image is a little bit bigger. Uh, sometimes it doesn't import 100%. Sometimes you do have to do a little massaging of your content and so I'll just shorten that up and uh, so here's what it did it took all those images and imported all of my content so I'm gonna save this so we'll say next page and it'll go to the next page so let's save that let's just take a look at what it did you'll notice it went through and put those images in there. So let's go to the next page. And we're going to turn on editing, and I'm going to add another page. And we'll call this one Revolution. Again, just drag and drop. And for this one, I'm going to change it up here and we're going to do one more and then we'll walk through the entire thing how was the earth formed now I found this great National Geographic uh, story of the earth and so I'm coming back in here I'm going to paste that in there finish and we'll go to end of lesson. So let's see what we've done here. In a matter of a few minutes here, we've added in two pages, magnetism, revolutions. Oh yeah, there was a video in there too. Didn't even notice that. So there's a video, here's some links. These images all imported right from the Word document. So we get to the bottom. How was the Earth formed? Here is the National Geographic video. And we are done. That is the power of these two new plugins and how quick and easy teachers can then put their content into Moodle. And, uh, you know, whether it's uh, using this to collaborate, to build question banks, things like that. Um, we're always looking for easier and better tools for teachers, and Moodle is where it's at. Thanks for watching.